Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And this question says, why is the incredible verse about dua in between the Ramadan verses? This is a very, very good question. The statement of Allah Azza wa Jal, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانٌ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُ لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ This ayah, if my servants ask about me, then I am indeed near. I answer the dua of the one who calls upon me when they make dua. So let them answer me and let them believe in me so that they may be rightly guided. This ayah is, as the questioner correctly said, mentioned right in the middle of the ayat of Ramadan. Uh, the ayah Shahur Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an Shahur Ramadan, the month in which the Qur'an was revealed and afterwards Uhilla lakum laylat al-siyam al-rafathu ila nisa'ikum that it is permissible for you in the night time to have relationships or to have intimate relations with your spouses so the, the, the whole discussion of Ramadan this ayah is right in the middle now, I actually had a look through some of the books of Tafsir and I didn't come up with a crystal clear answer that I can give you that is like unequivocal. But there are two things that we can uh, think about. And one of them, I was more surprised about than the other one. The obvious one is that Ramadan is a time for dua and that dua is a major part of the month of Ramadan the fact that the fasting person has an accepted dua uh, in of itself uh, many of the scholars they said the dua at saying that the dua being accepted at iftar is weak in the sense that singling out iftar as the time uh, however the idea that the fasting person when they are fasting that their dua has an uh, that they have an accepted dua when they are fasting this is authentic inshallah ta'ala so that's one aspect and that one was kind of something I expected to find. What I wasn't thinking of is that the scholars of Tafsir, they differ over whether the dua in the ayah is dua by your tongue or dua by your actions. And some of them said that the dua here is not the dua of the tongue, although it includes the dua of the tongue, because generally when the ayah is general, we leave it general. But they said it also includes the way that you behave and the role that your actions play in your dua being accepted. And perhaps that is one of the reasons why this ayah is in between here, because the role that your actions play in your dua being accepted. It's like you're making dua with your actions. So when you are fasting in the month of Ramadan, it's like you are making dua to Allah to be freed from the fire, dua for Jannah, you know, and so on. You are making that dua to Allah through the actions that you are doing in the month of Ramadan, not only through the words that you say. So I found that also, and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. I think it needs definitely more research because there is much more that could be said about it. But that's what I found in the limited time that I had.